guys, it's Sydney, and today we're gonna do a fall DIY. So this is great if you love to DIY, but you're not all that great at it, but still want some really fun, easy, cool things to just spice up your living space. So today we're gonna go over how to make this beautiful $2 um, Goodwill like centerpiece. It was an old water pitcher, and we just made it into a gorgeous, cute little thing for your dining room area, your kitchen. And then we're also gonna transform our normal succulents into just something to spice it up a little bit. Not anything crazy at all, but just to get you brainstorming and some ideas. This is from past DIY, but if you like it, I can let you know how to make it. And then lastly, we're making a bless sign to put outside your door for your guests when they come in. And we're mimicking one that we saw at TJ Maxx for about $30, and we ended up only making it for 10. So we're really excited, and let's just jump into the DIY. Okay, so I got a old water pitcher from Goodwill for about $2. I'm just spray painting it white, getting rid of the old texture. Guys, this is so easy. Even if you feel you're not creative, you can totally partake in the fun with this. Honestly, I highly recommend not spray painting this in the grass. Um, if you have some old wood or something, definitely spray paint on that one. You're saving the grass, and two, you can just get around the object a lot better. But you know, trial and error, guys. So spray painting it white, coating it, letting it dry for about an hour or two. And then I'm putting in a little succulent from Ikea, and I think it turned out so cute. It's perfect for like a bathroom. I loved it, as you can tell. So my water pitcher is ready to go, but wait, we gotta do something else. We're gonna add in some fall flare from a past DIY and stuff it in the pitcher. And then I think it turned out so beautiful for um, your kitchen or a dining room centerpiece. Look at that, I love it. So we're gonna spray paint this wood from Home Depot. Um, I have a satin French blue, and this wood was only $4, so um, it's about a little over four feet tall, I would say. But um, yeah, it was only $4, so I'm gonna spray it paint, spray paint it blue, probably about two coats would be good. And now here I'm tracing out how big I want the letters to be, just to kind of figure out how, where to space it, things like that. And I'm using acrylic paint here, and I'm going to get it on a sponge brush and then lightly kind of trace um, what I want the letters to look like. You can obviously do a like spent stencils and stuff, but I decided to just kind of freehand it and make it really rustic and kind of like super DIY. You can tell I made it freehand, but if you wanted a cleaner look, you could totally do stencils. But I just went through and made this a little bit thicker and made the letters exactly how I want them to look. And then I'm gonna go in and make some little designs. So taking the green acrylic paint, I'm going to take a little bit on a paintbrush and just start making some greenery. Now the best way to do this is go on Pinterest and you can type in like painted greenery and just kind of mimic it and look off of what is on Pinterest was what I did. So the true tip to this would be adding dimension. So as I go, I kind of trace out lightly what I want to do. And then I start adding in white and mixing in even like some blue to just kind of make it pop. So just kind of lightly dusting through to figure out what I'm doing, get myself used to it. So putting in some Y, adding some dimension, really just having fun with it. Um, obviously I'm not the best painter, but I think it turns out really cute. So you just take your time, fix things that you don't like, and just keep working at it, and it turns out really nice. So I'm mixing this pink with the blue, because the pink was just too much for me. So it made a really soft purple, and I really loved it. So mixing those, and I'm kind of mimicking these types of flowers that um, Hosanna Revival does. It's an Instagram page, and they actually hand paint Bibles. So if you want some inspiration, definitely type in Hosanna Revival, and they make these really cool type of hand painted flowers. So they just do like circles, and then add in white for some definition, and that's kind of what I did here. So I'm adding like some spongy type of white to kind of act as in a still be flower and then giving that flower um, some dimension. Just kind of playing with that. I think it turned out pretty cute. So I did that to the top as well. And then the sides, I just painted blue to just clean it up. So that's basically it, guys. Anyone can do it, it's super easy. So have fun and happy crafting.